Namaste. When we start to live uh, our Vedic life, our backpack starts to increase. <laughs> and sometimes it's a little bit problematic, okay? Because in Ayurveda we give a lot of importance to what we eat. And since we are very um, fond of spices, it starts to be a little bit difficult to enjoy food that are not properly prepared according to Ayurvedic concepts. You start to feel that um, that meal is just like, oh, this is so hard to digest, I'm feeling stuck, I'm feeling heavy. I Meals that you were supposed to be just like fond of, like pizza or something like that, pasta, no, no, ice cream. Because when we start to pay more close attention to what we are eating, we start to realize that things that we are used to eat and we thought it was just the best in the world actually is not that good for digestion. <laughs> so if you work out of home, that is most common, and the, in the place nearby where you uh, work, there is no uh, very Ayurvedic or healthy restaurant. You need to take the meal, you need to take the lunch, maybe you also need to take the breakfast, and also the afternoon. <laughs> and this can be a little bit problematic concerning the weight and concerning the preparations that you're going to take. So. In the weekend, or when you have vacations during the week, um, it's good to make some masala that you can carry. It's good to take some uh, green spices like rosemary, um, um, what is the name of the other one? Thyme, and all these pizza uh, spices. It, this can be in your um, backpack easily. You can also prepare some mixture of seeds and uh, dry fruits and cashews. This can also be very good to the afternoon. As a general rule, if you want to have a thing that is not going to increase the heat in your body, you can put some flower seeds. seeds. You can put pumpkin seeds, both of them that are not um, salty. You can put raisins, you can put uh, shea, and you can also put that uh, that uh, nuts that has the brain shape. You can put a little bit also of uh, sesame seeds and maybe some anise, uh, some coriander. This is going to be good for the afternoon if you have a lot of heat in your body. If you have a lot of water and uh, uh, fat in your body, you can mix some uh, flower seeds, you can mix uh, flax seeds, you can mix um, sesame seeds, um, you can also put a lot of um, cinnamon, and uh, spices that are going to be more pungent, like chai. And you can also put a little bit of almonds, just a little bit. This is going to be good for you to have some meal in the afternoon. And you can add honey in this combination. In the first combination, if you want to put brown sugar, okay. But uh, honey, according to Ayurveda, is good for people that are uh, maybe a little bit, maybe more than a little bit of overweight. You can also put in these combinations cornflakes. They are good for you to have just like this afternoon meal if needed. And if you're overweight and you need to lose water from your system. If you are uh, more dry and anxious and uh, too much agitated, the afternoon um, mix is going to be more with 
sesame seeds. It's going to be more with raisins. It's going to be more with cashews. Not only that one with the brain shape, but also nuts, uh, Brazilian nuts. You can use more of them. You can uh, make it digestible with cardamom and also um, some other spices that you like. And you can also use amaranth in this preparation. If you think this is going to be very um, dry to eat, even though it's very oily, you can put that tahini, that sesame. Um, it's not a paste. It's it's not also a jelly. It's just like the uh, preparation Arabic people usually have. Uh, tahini. It spells T A H. I N E and uh, it's very good to make just like a ball. <laughs> I call these Ganesh balls. <laughs> uh, it's very good to make you feel satisfied with a very quick and easy to carry meal. In the first preparation, if you want to be a little bit more heavy, this can also happen. You can put oats in that preparation. So the first preparation is more if you feel a lot of hot uh, heat in your body. Uh, if you feel there are some burning and this kind of stuff. The second preparation is more if you feel watery or uh, too much fat. And the third preparation if your joints are cracking, if your mind is anxious, if odd things uh, and if your skin is dry. These are three types of uh, preparations that you can do during the weekend and put it on the fridge or outside the fridge and uh, take some small portions during the week if you are in a hurry and you have not so much time to do the other preparations. There is also one thing that is uh, very good when it's really cold and it's just like autumn or winter that we call fruit tea it's a mixture of tea and juice that it's going to be a preparation easy to do you're going to take one fruit that you like it can be apple it can be almost any fruit you like of course, we are going to make some other considerations later when we are discussing your case, but as a general concept, it can be almost any kind of fruit. You are going to cook this fruit with chai uh, spices like cardamom, anise, nutmeg, ginger, clove, cinnamon. We spoke about this masala chai before in another video. If you are watching in order, <laughs> it's there. And uh, we are going to uh, make this um, tea up to the moment that the fruit is cooked. After we have this tea with the fruit, we are going, usually it's better, to put it in a blender and blend it so you can take a flask and put it inside and take in the morning to the job because up to afternoon probably it's going to be hot you can put some uh, brown sugar depending if you feel more with your mind tired or you can put some honey if you feel that you need to be a little bit more active but the honey it's better to put in the moment that you're going to drink in Ayurveda please remember we never cook honey. It's not the point that we don't warm the honey. The point is that we don't keep honey in high temperature during a very long time. And please be careful because when you are going to blend this preparation it's just like very hot soup. It can burn you, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> I can assure you that it can burn you. So. 
uh, if you're going to use a very strong blender um, watch out <laughs> it can blow up and in you also it's not a very uh, pleasant thing okay it's better to have those ones that lock the uh, surface and this preparation the fruit tea is one thing that we're going to change the fruits not to eat the same every day and uh, it's going to be used mainly when you're feeling really cold during the whole day and, and this combination is going to be very nutritious it's going to be very easy to digest and it's going to be very warming up instantaneously so if you live in a cold country or there is a cold weather in the winter this preparation is one preparation that is cheap it's easy to do it's easier to carry it's not so much weighty uh, and it's also changeable so these are very good conditions along with the other options of um, snacks for the afternoon that we can uh, handle easily in our routine and make it sustainable during our uh, Ayurvedic life because Ayurveda has to be uh, healthy, Ayurveda has to be interesting, and Ayurveda has to be tasty, Ayurveda has to be intelligent, but also Ayurveda has to not to be so much uh, troublesome <laughs> with a lot of things to do that you oh, you just do Ayurveda in your whole day. Okay, you can spend a little bit of time here and there making your Ayurvedic stuffs, but uh, it also it has to be manageable. Okay, so this is one important point in our Ayurvedic uh, counseling that we attend to this uh, criteria also of being uh, doable <laughs> and not so much complicated. Okay. So I wait your um, email or anything, uh, commentaries, likes, shares, if you want, always. And uh, let's go for the next video. Namaste. Mm -hmm.